Welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Leanne and we're going to bake some bread today in my RV oven. Here's the recipe. You can screenshot that if you like, but you can also find the recipe in the description below. For this recipe, you need flour, vinegar, yeast, salt, a beer of your choice. I'm using Blue Moon today, a large mixing bowl, and a cast iron Dutch oven with a lid, and don't forget the parchment paper. If you make this in your RV oven, you also need a thermal shockproof pizza stone. I'll leave a link in the description to the one that I have. You also need some kind of thermometer to check the oven temp before you put your bread in. I got this laser thermometer on Amazon and it has worked very well for me. That link will be in the description as well. Now that we have everything, let's get started. You're not gonna believe how easy this is. Start by mixing six cups of flour, one tablespoon salt, and half a teaspoon of yeast. Add one tablespoon of vinegar and three quarters of a cup any beer you like. A dark beer like Guinness is really nice in this bread. Next, add one and three quarter cups of water. And this is the crazy part. The dough comes together so quickly. I recommend using a sturdy wooden spoon for mixing because it can get a little tough and mix just until the flour is incorporated and the sides of the bowl are fairly clean. Cover the bowl with foil and let it sit for 8 to 18 hours. The longer the better. I usually leave mine overnight and bake it in the morning. After your dough has sat for at least 8 hours, sprinkle some flour onto your counter or a cutting board and you're going to turn the dough out onto the flour. The dough will be pretty sticky and that's totally normal. Sprinkle a handful of flour on top of the dough so it's easier to shape. Shape the dough into a ball and you can get creative here by adding some slits in the top with a razor blade or you can sprinkle some seeds or oats or whatever you want to do here. Transfer the ball to a piece of parchment and use the parchment to transfer the dough to your Dutch oven. Put the lid on your Dutch oven and you're going to bake in a 425 degree oven for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, take your bread out and you're going to remove the lid and bake for an additional 30 minutes until the top of the bread is deep golden brown. Now 
This bread is so good, you guys, and if, if you make this recipe, tag me on Instagram and let me know how it went, especially if you make it in your RV oven. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you should, because I post different stuff over there. Um, more up-to-date stuff as far as where we're at and some fun reels and stuff like that. We use this bread for all kinds of things, by the way. It makes excellent toast and sandwiches, grilled cheese. It's great for dipping. So here's how I like to cut it and store it for easier slicing and to make it last longer. After it's completely cooled, I cut it in half and then I cut it into quarters. I store it in a two gallon zip bag with a couple of paper towels to absorb any moisture that might accumulate. And I put it in the fridge. It gets nice and firm and then the next day I can cut beautiful slices. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next week.